Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the McConaughey at YouTube with a, another model video. Today we're going to be reviewing and building the Mushin Krieger SAFS Super Armored Fighting Suit. Now it comes in a little uh, gachapon, or they called it a gacha something else since uh, gachapon is copyrighted by Bandai. Though it's a little capsule toy with a tiny model kit inside in various uh, ring runners to fill the whole bowl. Almost as impressive as those little Zaku heads in 35th scale, you are greeted with five runners, two halves to the torso, a base, a randomized decal sheet, and an instruction sheet as well as marketing the different options. You have uh, the choice of two different randomly drawn power suits as well as a set of uh, Japanese teenage girls and a bunch of animals. Another uh, element is a round disc of water slide decals and there's up to an amount that are also randomly drawn not according to the model you receive. For about 500 yen or retailing where I'm at at $10 it is an insane amount of value for such a small sphere. Everything is molded in styrene with snap fitting in mind. Realistically no glue is required and to a limited degree they are pre-colored as the plastics are molded in a various uh, bunch of shades. The instructions have uh, multiple languages mostly in Japanese. The pictures are very, very easy to follow. It was a bit awkward and weird at first, but later on I realized, and you'll see in pictures later on in this video, I mixed the two versions instructions together. There's only um, a variant of a couple of parts between the two versions, though easy enough, they're pretty simple to streamline a finished build. Parts do fit in particular uh, points, though the detail on the surface area under the feet and all of the components are nice and crisp. A pleasure to work with. Interestingly enough, the arms and legs are molded in a single piece to avoid a seam line. There is some flash marks here and there which are very easy to clean up, though you do have this obnoxious uh, filling in the inner thighs they can be filled with some sort of epoxy putty. I did not treat it on this particular model, though put together and blackened out, they don't stand out at all. You do have some flash marks on the torso, and the seam line is hidden under the arms between the legs and whatnot, so not too vis visible as you do have uh, shoulder guards and a large head shield as a separate part. All flash marks were sanded, the single seam line going around was glued with plastic cement. Cement reacts very well with this material. The majority of it was glued together except for some colour separation. Post painting, PVA glued into place. The seams were very, very uh, tight. Uh, a bit of glue and some sanding would probably fix it, though I did use Mr. Dissolve Putty just to nip it in case. But all of those little pipes, the vents, the panels, the hands, all of that, really, really enjoyable. It's an absolute treat to paint up, detail, wash, go for all that sort of thing. Would be an absolute shame if you did not paint it. And another very impressive element that each joint for each part that goes together, the feet, the legs, all that, every peg is a different shape and size so you cannot force or push in the wrong part and the wrong component. Thus, with the wrong set of instructions due to my own fault, I didn't fall into any traps as playing with it long enough did get it together eventually. Once it's all together at 35th scale, the proportions, the shadowing, how it stands is quite nice. It looks like the more expensive kits that you can buy that's around the one 20th scale or the multi sets that come in 35th you do pay for quite a bit when uh, they're imported from uh, overseas as an introduction to the Mushin Krieger it's a really great way of just expanding and uh, really attracting a new audience to it getting people involved in uh, painting it and building the story and world around it uh, this is my initial introduction to 
this style of uh, model and I can definitely see myself uh, trying more. I bought enough of the capsules to get one of each so I'll be building and painting more of them and doing more ambitious paint jobs. I was building it at work and I did all the uh, painting at my friend's shop so I only had a very limited selection of paints and knocked it over in a single build session in two hours and painted it in a couple of more hours. Not the best effort but it's alright. I imitated the snake eyes uh, scheme with the uh, pink uh, patch airbrushed it in multiple tones of uh, green to just what was on hand picked up a few details hand painted some bits and pieces allowed sufficient amount of time to dry a few layers of clear a few layers of uh, washes a bit of uh, pigment weathering here and there and some touch-ups and it's uh, popping quite nice love that it comes with a base uh, really funny how it can also mount on top of uh, the capsule ball in the way of the base, I didn't want it too plain. Rammed a little bit of uh, milli putts to uneven the ground. PVA glue, sand, shaded it in a few colours, and uh, chucked on a wash to diversify a bit. Uh, shaded up the sides just to be a, a bit neat. All that aside, absolutely nothing but love for uh, this very, very cheap and accessible uh, part of uh, the more adult side of uh, scale modelling low-end models. Bandai and everyone else's things like your egg planes, your bear guys, your SD uh, Gundams that the teens and the kids really really like but to catch the attention for uh, the more serious and enthusiastic uh, modelers to pick up something that's five to ten dollars being the uh, Zaku heads and these uh, Mushin Krieger Gashapons it's so cool it's this is what the hobby needs a lot more of I'd love to see all the brands just flood the market with these three to five hundred yen tiny kits that come in plastic bags or boxes or capsule balls whatever tiny little very quick uh, projects that you can just smash together in a day with uh, paint for people who are new to the hobby or casuals or even for the uh, serious people that can put more work in I think there's just a corner for that market that could really really take off it's just a question of uh, if a lot of people, enough people buy it and enjoy and consume this product as well as the Zaku heads, will we see more uh, increase of that sort of stuff by all the brands? You know, I would definitely, definitely support the hell out of that. My efforts with this was absolutely nothing special. A chance to just uh, experiment with a few things. I get a hand for uh, airbrushing with enamels and acrylics. I used about every type of paint under the sun and mixed them. At one point it uh, badly reacted and kind of created a really cool effect. So I just uh, rocked it. Not my best uh, work, but a lot of fun. I tried a new method of applying uh, pigment to it which didn't work out but gave me an idea for new weathering concepts that I'll play with. I do want to build uh, more of these and I really would love to get into freehand airbrushing and doing some uh, camo patterns and imitating some Cold War, Second World War aircraft strange schemes but just change the colours around more decals, modify them, add weapons in bulk and different parts and just go nuts which is uh, the spirit of this type of uh, subject matter. Just to recap, there's a bunch of variants. Each type of power suit comes in different colours. Though you're given this set of animals and two Japanese schoolgirls. Each version of the ball has the schoolgirls come with the two girls in different shades of pink and a different assortment of animals. This is really cool for anyone who's in 35th dioramas, vehicles, civil, anything. You can put them in tanks, you can put them in cars. People really been pining after this sort of uh, figures, so it could be used outside the uh, Mush and Krieger world. I will show them off and do some stuff with them in a future video, but uh, just really cool for meeting a niche demand in the market. And second, I don't know if uh, the current assortment of styrene kits come with uh, decals or whatnot, but all of these uh, markings are really cool for nose art for vehicles and aircraft and other things. Definitely can be used uh, outside of uh, this universe of uh, modeling, even e extending into sci-fi, mecha, Gundam, that sort of thing. 
utilizing it. Uh, very high quality decals, pre-cut, quite a joy to use, no complaints. Finally, my brother from another mother, Tristan, good mate, has uh, started a group on Facebook, Australian MAK Builders. You don't have to be an Australian to be in it, I reckon. They've got all sorts of interesting uh, projects and uh, they're painting the little figures, doing scratch building, building the out of the box kits. If you're into that sort of thing, you wanna head over there and uh, check it out. Very nice, tight, neat group. Uh, no hassles going on, just uh, fun and uh, casual as a modeling community should be. Place to look at work as well as share if you do build paint or want to get into it. That practically concludes it. Thank you very much for watching. As always, until next time, stay tuned for further content. I will review the uh, other two. And uh, we post here twice a week. Have a look for links in the description section. And I do a bit on Facebook, Pinterest, and those other social medias. Catch you later.